here it is, you guys, the end of chapter four. Um, today's lesson is chapter four, lesson six, online banking. Do you bank online? Why or why not? Um, my parents didn't want to do anything online because they thought it was a security risk and didn't want anybody to steal their money. But um, I personally bank online. Um, our lesson objective is to compute online banking charges and update the check register. So once you've logged onto your account at the online bank, you can transfer funds from checking to savings or savings to checking, make loan payments from checking to loan accounts, make payments to third parties, get information about account balances, previous deposits, previous withdrawals, and loan balances. So um, another thing that uh, is new, we uh, were actually able to do most of our um, mortgage loan paperwork and banking online. So. Um, COVID has really done um, a lot to push the banking world to completely digital processes. Okay, so sometimes some banks have charges that, um, depending upon the type of account that you have, they'll give you um, different, different charges. So this may or may not apply to you. Um, basic monthly charge. I know uh, like Wells Fargo has a basic monthly charge. Some banks have a monthly charge if your balance goes below a certain level. Bill payment, the first five, there's no charge and then it's 50 cents per item you um, pay online. Printed statement, $4. Replace lost card, $5. Overdraft, which is where you write or do um, have a transaction that um, is more than you have in your account. It's overdraft $25. And international wire transfer um, to help your brother out in Singapore, that's $20. So those are service charges. They get um, subtracted from your bank account. Uh, ATM transactions charge. Sometimes if you are not using your own bank's ATM, they might charge you. So a regional network would be a dollar charge. National network would be $2 charge. And out of network would be $3 charge. Cash advance. Um, a cash advance is 2% of the amount or um, $10. Um, or if the 2% is more than $10, it's just $10. Okay, we'll be using these to calculate the fees um, in our practice problems. So our total service charge, which we will need to know, is our basic monthly charge plus our bill payments plus the statement billing plus ATM service charge plus cash advance service charge. So it's each of these items added together. Okay, so let's go see how we use this. Alyssa uses online banking for a business. Alyssa's personal shopping. She pays a service charge and seven bills. She requests a printed statement. She also has ATM transactions, including one out of network and a cash advance of $400. What is her service charge, including fees for the month. So we are going to look, let me restrict this down just a little bit for you guys so that So let's look at uh, basic monthly charge is $6.95, $6.95. Um, her bill payments, she gets the first five for free. So we go, she has a total of seven. So we've already done the service charge. Seven bills. The first five are free, so that leaves two that she's going to be paying 50 cents for each of 
the bill pays. So that's a dollar. To get a paper statement, that is four dollars. She uh, had a one out of network, and if you look back at our chart, the out of network is three dollars. Let's put a check on there. And a cash advance of four hundred dollars. So the service charge for that cash advance is two percent times four hundred. We um, get our little handy dandy calculator. And that's eight dollars. So then we add all this together, and her total service charge is twenty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay, and eventually that will come out of her bill. All right, let's look at example two. On March fifteenth, Alyssa Perez goes online and downloads the transactions shown in Figure four point one one. This. Um, she did this so she can put them on her spreadsheet where she keeps a check register, do, 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 which is right here. Um, note the transaction since her last login. Okay, so she did this. So we have to kind of track and see where we are at. It says update the check register. So we are just going to compare. So we see on the 6th, if, if it, um, I'm going to put a check next to it when I see it in both places. ATM withdraw, $400, and then that is this ATM withdraw, $400. ATM national network fee of $2 service charge, ATM fee, that is right here. Uh, automatic um, automatic transaction. Um, it's an EDI payment. Oh, we get deposited. This is our paycheck. Yay! So, Computer Incorporated Payroll one sixteen sixty one. We see it in both places. Uh, 50 cents service charge for a bill payment. We did record that on our check register. And in fact, there are two of them. Credit card payment. Well, that's kind of high on the credit card. Finley youth payment for 100 bucks. A check for Food Town for $30.55, some groceries. And insurance company. $153.39. Okay, so we are just actually checking that everything that the computer has or the online banking has that we have it recorded on our portion. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing in our lesson practice. We're going to calculate the service charge. And then um, in number six, we are going to um, update our check register. Okay, so let's, um, in just a second, I will post the answer. All right, so here's the answers to four and five. And here are the answers to six. All right, y'all have a great day. We'll see you back next week.